Oh three. Yeah, oh Against three. Cosmos. Sorry, yeah, oh yeah, three. Yeah. Cosmos about to three oh him. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking very close. Cosmos, Cosmos just needs one more hit. 18 feet. Yeah, Cosmos, one of those players that a lot of people know is fantastic, but hasn't really performed to the level that we know he can. So if he can make this upset happen, it would be huge for him. Yeah. Tries to get the up throw up air. Not going to happen. And it's very interesting because I was talking to Tweak a little bit before, and he was actually even telling me himself. He still see, he believes that Inkling, as we were talking about, he does believe that Inkling is the best character in the game. Really? Yes. He's the or at least the at least certified top tier. And I agree with him. I Naira got the kill with an yep. up throw. Yep. And I, yeah, and I agree with him. Uh, I think the character is not as there is a certain level of accessibility for a character. Afterwards, I feel like the complexity of the character really becomes with the movement, the splat bomb, the uh, fine-tuning your ink, uh, your combos based on the ink, fine-tuning uh, your your edge guarding, all these kind of things there that make this character so ridiculous. And of course, things like dash grab. Dash grab has no hurt box on it. Oh my goodness! But anyways, we're gonna go in this tweak versus Esam. Let's see, man. So far, Esam is off to the races. He's looking really strong. He knows that the bike is on stage, kind of dropping that edge guard. I'm a little surprised by that. He's going to eat that back air there and tweak wow. again. Gets caught sleeping a little bit. That's the second time that happened. He keeps trying to jump over Esam. Esam is on patrol. Yep. Saying, That's a no fly zone. Yep, <laughs> not at all. Get the hell down. Yeah, get back on your bike. Good collapse by tweak, though. Put the damage back on. Could you imagine? What does it mean for Esam to make this upset? And it sounds silly to call it an upset just because these guys are both fantastic players, but Tweak being the first seed in the tournament, Esam is actually number 17. Yeah, so that's funny because we're looking at number two and number one potentially going down into loser's bracket. Could happen. Do the 17th and 18th. with his bike on the stage again such a bad position to be in we talked about it a little bit before whether you want to keep the bike on the stage or destroy it immediately but when it's on that platform and you're not really at risk anyway super good yeah absolutely the yep there we go back. yeah and tweak's gonna get rid of it eats it right up tweak having trouble getting this kill finally gets oh, the there. back air yeah, good finally. stuff but again we all know the heavy set Jigglypuff that is Wario. <laughs> <laughs> Best believe that Waff is on deck. He's just big, angry Jigglypuff. Yeah, he really is. He had enough. 80% on Tweak has the Waff. All he needs is the confirm, but we did see him drop those in an earlier set. Have to see if he can make it work here. He wasn't able to get Captain Zack with them. Esam might be a little tricky as well. True. Let's see, the fourth throw getting that three damage. Okay, he's gonna wait here. Good fair. Okay. I think he tried to go for a slap. Oh, oh my no. gosh, yep. Punish on that 50-50 setup, I love that. Air dodges right into it. And that's, I think, the third time Esim's hit, hit him with it. And the second time he's gotten a kill off, and Tweak has got to be a lot more careful in the air because Esam always on patrol. Oh, pull him down, yep. Drag down. Oh, yeah, I love that. Go for shield this time around. Uh, you can go for uh, the Nair drag down back into a down throw. Good catch there with the Thunder. Wow. E ECM is playing absolutely incredible. Yeah, ECM's playing super hot. Yeah, he's playing very, very well. And that would be a very big win for him and, of course, the PG boys. 108% right now. Gets the down air. Nothing more out of it. But that jab. Wow. Oh, excellent wow. option. Yeah, he doesn't go for anything else. He says this is going to end soon. And as soon as it does, it's over for you. But that walk still on deck. Might be able to turn the tide of this game. And just a quick update. K9 beat Yeti 3-1. Damn. K9's moving. Yo, Sean Bruce is in the building. The return of the king. Tearing through the bracket. That's not an easy win, dude. Yeti, a fantastic player, has not lost in the Midwest yep. yet. I think he has a 17-game win streak. He's actually uh, C20 in this tournament. Yeah. But back to this match. Tweak! Oh, I thought he had it. He's Ooh. waiting for the setup on the walk, but now Esam is outside of the percent range. Absolutely. He's going to need a read to get this. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Bikes out. That's oh, it. Oh, in the chase. Yep, that's it. Uh-oh.
Esam winning game one against Tweak. There's a huge roar from the crowd, but I think they're cheering for Nairo yes, over there. Yes, I, I believe so. Who's even it up to game five. Oh my God, look at this crowd. Oh, this crowd is Jesus, massive. Jesus, dude. Yo, welcome. This is nuts. And this you, is ultimate, dude. This is ultimate. This is crazy. This Hold on, is let me. ultimate. Oh my God. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Look at this crowd, bro. Yes. Oh my God. Yo, we got some matches, bro. Shit. We got some matches. Yeah, so with K9, he plays Zach Ray on stream. Oh, K9's going to play Zach Ray yeah. on stream soon. Oh, wow. Oh. K9 beat Yeti. Yo, Wolfpack. 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. 3-1. King of Smash, baby. King, the king of return. The king has returned. I have awaited the king. You know what? I'm so happy because you know what that means? I, I told people, so K9 made a uh, final combo video, and he had an amazing monologue at the end. Oh, really? About I didn't see to that. Be, like, to be a man, to have a dream. And I refused to watch it until <laughs> K9 returned. <laughs> now that he is back, I am watching that. There That's the moment go. I go home. He'll pull it up right now. My boy. So Tweak opting for Kalos on this next one. A uh, little surprised by the pick. Big stage. Yep. Kind of like an FD, but has these platforms at the edge to True. kind of help for edge play and uh, kind of help him recovery. Yeah. And I do think that's kind of where he was struggling. Whenever he was off the stage, Esam was really putting on a ton of damage or getting that thunder. Yeah, he was really chasing them off stage, and that's something that you don't see nearly enough for a lot of people uh, versus Wario. Of course, he's going to have that uh, aerial acceleration, but you can put out those hitboxes, and he, he's forced to deal with it. Good spacing by Tweak on that forward air. Ooh, what a catch there with the up tilt. And Tweak kind of playing more his game here. I feel like what we see Tweak do is, in pretty much all of his games, he is a master at establishing tempo. Yes. What he does is he puts you in shield and forces you to play at his pace. And yeah. that's kind of what we're seeing here as opposed to earlier stuff. Yeah, we're definitely seeing uh, much more so his tempo. Good stuff there. Get some with the short hop. Bite. An easy amount of damage. That's him at the edge. 112. I think Esam has to be a little careful too in terms of using that uh, that quick attack on Wario. Ooh, just because Wario can just use the waft right on him. Yep, absolutely. And easy catch there. Down to on the dash attack and, the, and that stock. 101%. Gets the Nair. Going to get that free confirmed to 20. Ooh, Tex Ooh. in. Okay. Good air dodge. Yeah, that was a perfect pilot through that. Good safe back air on that tweak. Again, oh, just he was controlling the pace of this yeah. match so well. Yeah, he wanted that one. Oh, my goodness. I'm really surprised we didn't see a waft I there. thought the waft was coming. Yeah, I feel like tweak is, uh, I don't want to say over-relying on the setups, but if you're gifted stuff like that, oh, yeah. you got to take it. Oh, but hey, <laughs> look at there. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you could just get that dash attack. We're seeing more the tweak that we know and love. This Absolutely, is the, uh, yeah. This is what we expected to see, I think. Vintage the tweak. One. Oh, he wanted to roll in. Oh, yeah. he, absolutely, he absolutely wanted to roll in. Yeah, he wants to make this done. Man, At I, the loft. <laughs> my Wario is so disrespectful, man. My man pokes Pikachu in the eye and then runs him over, man, with the shoulder check. He is not nice. Oh, no. Okay, I thought... Oh, oh I, I like that. Not going to get it, though. Doesn't get the loft 160%. Tweak getting the forward throw. Has Isam on a bad spot. Excellent chomp. This might be the end of Isam's game two. If he can just get off this ledge. Just like that. But unfortunately, you have Nairo has fallen down into loser's bracket. PG Cosmos moving on. Huge upset. Tries to get the grab, can't do it. And there it is again, down tilt, yep. the dash attack. Tweak not losing a single stock that game. After that first game, we weren't sure how Esam was going to perform, if he's going to be able to do it again. But Tweak firing back super strong. Yeah, really good stuff. Whew, man. Yeah, you can see everyone kind of settling down, man, after that amazing match. Nairo. Nairo versus Cosmos. Yep. And over here, have another upset potentially in the making. 1-1 one, one between these guys. Esam looking so strong. Game one tweak, winning game two decidedly. Not sure how this third one's going to go. Man, this is <laughs> I still can't believe it, dude. Yeah. I still can't believe it. We saw. Yeah. 
Uh, not as much. I, he gave me an update earlier. Uh, K9 beat Yeti. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Eric! So here we go, guys. Lilap for this game three. I like this because I feel like the reason he won game one is because he was able to catch Tweak in the air a lot, and these platforms are going to incentivize him to be able to chase Tweak up there, as we're seeing already. Yeah, off the races, yeah. Very, very good selection here. And also what's doing is it's making it harder for Tweet to actually go ahead and land on him. Yeah. Which is going to be big because that's, it's, as you can see, that's where he gets his combo starters. Good spot, Dosh and a down throw. They are going to hit him off the side stage. Yeah. All right, where's the chase? Good work by Tweet going down and under the thunder. Just does not want to get caught. Good spot, Dodge. See the down throw, can't get a follow up. Good air dodge, he gets out of the main hit. Wow. But he's stuck. He's able to make it back. Oh, he's good. Yeah, 159 here for Wario. Yeah, that's huge. Watch the dash attack from Pikachu to be the killer here. But again, he's near the stage, I believe. Yep, good back air. I believe the down tilt dash attack close out the stock, even an F tilt as well on the side of the stage. Easy Sam has to be careful. Yeah. If he gets him on the side, it's definitely a threat. Esam, of course, being able to kill with dash attack, but not really much else. Everything else is kind of a commitment, and I think Tweet can really capitalize on oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he just gives him an up tilt. He yeah. kind of let him out of that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Got away Scott free and the stock, man. Esam, yeah, lets out a sigh. He knows he let that one get away from he him. He flubbed it. Yes, he did. Oh, no, and he gets the drag down, but goes for the grab. Oh, no. Rare missteps from Esam, but finally that up throw going to kill 40%, yeah. which he was probably going to take with one hit anyway. Yep. So it's not terrible. That's one of the things you got to remember in this game. If you kill your opponent and you're at 40, 50%, it's not the end of the world because you are going to take that in one string. Regardless. Absolutely, absolutely. It's really when you start to get to 60, 70, 80. Though, that's where you look at, okay, I might let this one get yeah, away from Yeah, exactly. Me. Waft is online. Yes, it is. Good down tilt there from Esam. Catches him. Oh, no. He the gets reverse. him with the thunder. He has no bike. He has the up B. Oh, Esam no. Oh, you're done. Yes, you are. The yes, you are. Weak firing back. Can't do that, baby. Not here. 101% yeah. tweak. Able to be evasive. Get away. Falls into the forward smash, but it's not enough to kill. Esam has him off stage again, but tweak going to make it back for free. And the thing about using that waft like that that's so good is you're Ooh. charging another one. Exactly. He has another one coming. It's probably about 40 seconds away True. from at least having a, a small hit. So Esam has to be on notice. Oh, hit him on a double jump. Oh, my goodness. That could have been curtains right there. Double clap from Tweak. Good stuff. Yep. Easy damage there. Oh, him out of the fight. That's this what he big. needed. Oh, good directional air dodge. He's able to get through, and Tweak consistently has been so tricky. But the problem is, at a certain point, the tricks run out, especially against the player as good as Esam. True. He's got to be careful. Can't go off stage that much anymore. And if he gets hit out of the bike, he's going to be in a world of trouble. And Esam continues to interrupt him, man. Out of the air. He's got to be careful. In there, not gonna happen. Oh, he got tripped. Oh my goodness, that was big. That was such a bad position to be in. Yep, good down tilt, fair. Try to set up a tech chase for another down tilt, potentially dash attack on the side. Tech chase. Tech Reverse in there. Keep in mind, Tweak has the waft. If he rolls in, he does it. Awesome roll away oh, by Esam. Really great done. And that oh. is such a good Thunder Jolt because yep. it turns Wario around. Wario's threatening kill option is the back air. Of if course. he gets hit by that Thunder Jolt, he gets turned around. He has to use the fair, which is not going to kill his early. All right. Oh, yeah, that's an easy catch. No anti-air for you, good sir. Not safe. Not safe. 2-1. So much end lag on that. You don't yeah. think so because the forward smash is so hard to punish. But that up yeah. smash, if you can get away from the hitbox, you can land with the walk. Yeah. Perfect execution by Tweet. And that that and that was a breakdown. That was definitely a breakdown. Esam in a very good place. And especially against a character like Wario. You yes. have that aerial acceleration, of course. That movement, that directional air dodge. You really bet it all there and because of that got an easy punish. Yeah. All right, now we're going to go into game four. We are going back to Lilac Cruise. Let's see, man, what can the PG boy do? I really do think that Lilac was fine. I feel like Esam played very well for the most part, but I do think that uh, 
I, I don't think the stage played a factor. I think ECM just has to tighten up a little bit, not give so much away. We saw it that first stock yep. where he just gave up the, the kill. Yep, I agree. Yeah, Sam I feel like right now uh, ESAM is just kind of just moving, man. Yeah. He's moving, trying to cover space with, you know, really standard setups, a lot of set play. But I feel like he needs to tweak things a little bit more, no pun intended, because Tweak is just maneuvering about those things, just, you know, getting away just by an inch, and then he just punishes him with a mile, man. Yes. Let's see. All right. Rare back throw usage. Kind of surprised by that. It does put you at a different angle than down throw, but down throw is just raw damage does a lot more, and I think it puts your opponent kind of closer to you. Maybe you yep. just wanted to have him a little bit further off stage, but nothing really coming of it. Good okay. dash attack there. Beautiful stuff. You can see Tweak doing the, the Tweak bite. thing. This yeah. is kind of the Wario stuff, just with punish, weave in and out, force the opponent to react. You just kind of sit in front of their shield, wait for them to hit a button. Dives there, down yeah. with the down air. That's safe against so many characters it on is. Pikachu. Wario is not one of them. Uh, that's such a good play there. I love it because he's been holding on to these edge guards until when he needed it most. Yes. The waft to close out the stock, and now that dare. Yeah, he's sort of. He's not really just going off stage indiscriminately. Yes. He's picking his his exactly. shots, and that's really important because sometimes just because you see a habit, you see a gap in the play, sometimes you got to hold on to it. You got to prioritize it. You know when it matters the most to maximize what the damage. Good near there. Tweak off stage. Esam struggling Ooh. to edge guard him, but finally gets him with the thunder. Doesn't hit him with the second hit, giving Tweak no option to get back on the stage. And Esam only at 28, despite how that first stock went. He's looking fine here. Yeah. Really good damage. See, but he's going to have to be careful. We do know Wap is online here, yep. and that is definitely going to be really fun. We haven't really seen Tweak, however, land too many out of a combo. No, we have. Edge guard situation. Really across the board. Honestly. Mm -hmm. See, there's the down throw, 80%. Tweak has that full waft. Bike is on the stage, always a consideration. Oh, there it go. Just disappeared into space. Bite. Oh, gosh, yeah. Ezem has to be very careful going for stuff like that super committal dash attack. Okay, starting something up here. All right, we're going to see a fourth throw. Side of stage. He's him trying to find his way in. Yep. These Thunder Jolts are really just kind of preemptive. He's throwing sure. them out because if they hit oh, Tweak. Oh, easy yeah, weave, yeah. The problem is if they hit Tweak, he has an easy way in for free damage. The problem, though, they're pretty committal, even though they might not look like it. Yes, Consistently, very true. Consistently, what's been happening is Tweak has been getting these openings that would be safe on so against so many characters on Pikachu, but because it's Wario, he can't get away with it. True. The up smash, the thunder, that. To just there's so many moves that Tweak can get in and just punish hard. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, when you see them go for that jolt, man, one of the major things is that, especially when you go for a full hop, it is very, very committal. And you have to recognize that kind of situation because you can go full hop over it. And then because of that, goes at an angle, get a kill. Good stuff. Excellent DI by Tweak. He's going to try to air dodge throw, but those are the tricks we were talking about. Right. You can't get away with it. Nope. All right, but he's going to live here at 160, and Esam is going to have to be careful because that WAP has definitely been online. You're looking at 160. <laughs> oh, oh, he's chasing. Lilat, he got lucky because of Lilat there. The slope made it so he didn't get hit by the second hit. Might have been a WAP confirmed. Yep. Good counter pick for Esam here. 171 on Tweak. Oh, geez. Oh, tries, tries to, to go for it. it. No, not going to get it. Yeah, too high percent. I really think if he hit that second hit of Nair earlier, it might have done it. True. Oh my gosh, that's a hit. Yes, punish directional air dodge. And we are looking at 52%. He's a trying okay, to, start to take off. it to game Pull five. Down. This is Run what he back. needs. Drag it Run down. It back. Get more damage. Run it back. He's getting the Run combo. It back. Tweet Run it is back. struggling. He can't get out. 66%. Yes. And he is once again holding on to the cards. Bike is on the stage. You can't say it enough. Tweet is oh not going to get away from it. Wait a minute. Tech. Ooh, the Serene! Esam just playing out of his mind right oh, now! Give me kill. The and we are going up. to a game five, ladies smash. and gentlemen! Exactly what Esam needed. That last stock was played perfectly! Fucking go! Sit back down. Supreme final stock from Esam there. 
phenomenal work against Tweak. Left him no options. Just carried him all over that, the stage. Did that surprise you? Oh, it's close. Yeah, it's close. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see the crowd, baby. Oh, I know. I might, we aren't here. That's crazy. We know. Jesus we see Christ. you. That's nuts. Huge crowd turning out for this one. Everybody wants to oh, see Oh, look at this, this guy. Oh, look at this guy, Keith, man. <laughs> I had to make sure they can see the jersey. Look at this, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> no bias. No bias. Get him out of here, man. You see him looking around. Woo! Last what? stock? That last stock? That last stock? Oh, that was pretty good. He's Sam and I uh, having a little sidebar on yep. the side there. All right, here we go, guys. Game five, tweak against Game e -Sam. five, all right. This is seed one against seed 17. We saw an upset earlier with Cosmos defeating Nairo. That yep. was 18 against two. Yeah. Now it's 17 against one. Going to Unova. Unova. Now, I haven't seen this stage much at all. Do you know why Tweak would pick this as opposed to something else? So I think that those platforms are really essential. That's going to allow him to uh, he can kind of air dodge on them. So I believe that's going to assist his recovery. At the same time, center stage, not that many platforms. That means that he's not really going to get pinned down. Kind of what we saw before in Lilac Cruise, right, with the three platforms. It seemed like those tri-plats were actually very difficult with him to deal with versus ESAM. So I think this is a very good play. And this is kind of similar to Kalos, which is what we saw tweet counter exactly. earlier. Yep. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still ha he's not going to go under the stage if we're Precisely. recovering like on something like Lilac. Precisely. It's a really good observation. Okay, goes for the cross up there. Not going to make it happen. I really like Tweak playing it slow. We talked about Tweak always controlling the pace of the matchup getting the tempo, but I like that he's slowing it down here, giving Isam room to breathe, because after that last set, he needs to ice him a little bit. Yeah, and and I do want to say, one of the great things I've seen from Isam thus far is he has really, really mitigated the use of Waft. Waft has not been a factor not in a this factor. matchup. And it's the absence of Waft why Tweak has been struggling to kind of make that large gap that we're accustomed to seeing from him. Exactly. Good down throw there, gonna drag him down Pull with down. their yep. beautiful execution. 127%, gonna get kicked off of that edge guard. Tweet trying to find his way in. True. Gets another forward air, but it's not gonna be enough to kill. Does not go off stage, he's not respecting Esam now. Just wants to give him the stage, win that way. Goes for the back that air. Chase? We saw that before where he hit the back air off the Thunder Jolt. Yeah. There, Esam slightly spacing out. Oh my out. gosh, what a get up attack. My goodness. The one option he yeah. could have done. Oh yeah. I like Tweak's discipline there. Yeah. Hits the down tilt, doesn't go for anything else. Oh, good dash. Trying to go for dash attack. He's not even utilizing that in neutral. Got some cheers in the crowd. Whoever takes first stock is going to be at a monumental oh, a advantage. Oh my goodness. There's what some, a double jump air dodge. There's some matchups where this first stock is just crucial. Oh, and I, I feel everything. like this is one of them. I agree. Did you see that coverage yes. with the Thunder Jolt? Wow. Oh my gosh, and a slap. Get him out of here. This is very scary for Esam. He has to take it fast because if Tweet gets to play his game, just gets this residual percent yep. for free with forward airs, with nares, with down tilts, with grabs, Esam is going to have a lot of trouble next stock. And notice where Tweet is playing around these platforms. Yeah. I could definitely see the Unova counter pick. Yep. Good forward air. Yep, playing super safe. Doesn't try to overextend his combos. He's just throwing out hitboxes, hoping he gets a good spot dodge, gets the weak hit of up, uh, up smash. Yeah. Good! Oh, that's like, yes, give me a kill. All right, 30%. Exactly what Esam needed. Does not bleed too much on that second stock there. Let's see, up throw. throw yeah. No conversion. Yeah, he's going to be able to double jump out of that percent. Sitting back, again, patience here. Tweak. Let's see, down throw gets him off stage. Remember, Tweak does. Oh it. my goodness, looking for that up tilt conversion, not being able to get it. Tweak wants that waft, but again, it has not been a factor in this set much at all. I think he hit that one yeah. to punish lag, but really, he hasn't done much with it. Not at all. Again, he gets him on that platform, gets the chop. Good catch. Double Thunder Jolt to just get the safe landing exactly. on stage, mitigate the edge guarding. 
I love that usage by Esam. And I also love the fact that he's standing on that platform, so that means that Tweak is still able to ledge trap in some form because he doesn't have to deal with the jolts that are on the ground. Again! Yep. He dash attacks his shield, there's no fart! Tweak know, has man. to pull that trigger! And? I'm oh, trying to get it down so he look, he's looking for the tech chase. Dash attack! Doesn't kill yet! Barely! Excellent DI to the corners on Esam's part. Still has the walk, but he's not letting it go. We're at three and a half minutes here. Much longer game than what we saw before. Oh, These guys slowing it down. Absolutely. You can feel it in the air, man. These people Woo! are impatient. Oh, yes, finally goes for tech in. Esam's yeah. not ready. That's like the second time he's teched in against Esam, too. If he does it again, if he, he's got to stop. Oh, that's it. That's the kill. Yep. If he this keeps, he keeps teching in, yes. that's no, the wait, third no. time. The reason why is before he was teching away beforehand. Now he's doing it twice. That is why it's happening. This is a set conditioning, not just a match. Set 124 conditioning. 124%. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting the thumbs up from D1 yeah. on that. You got a gold star for yep, that. Good stuff. 124% <laughs> right now on Tweak. The waft is still a factor. Oh my god! Excellent god. forward smash! Calling out the second oh, jump! We, we are, are in a one stock situation! We are going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, we're oh, pulled out! Here we go! He's on the loop! Oh, here we go! Loop the loop! This oh, is the same sailed. stack we saw last game! Yes, He's sir. doing it again! He's jumping around! Okay. Tweak is going to have to make a play. He's going to have to make a play with his walk. Esam. Oh no. 90%. It's a off stage. Has to use the bike. He's chasing him. That's going to be it. That is going to be it. And Esam takes Tweak in the loop.